Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another pedal demo. I'm Brett Papa, and today is the Wampler Equator pedal. It is an EQ pedal, and honestly, I've never messed with anything like this. And I thought, why not just pull the thing out of the box and let you and I hear it together for the first time? Now, rather than try to pretend I'm some sort of studio audiophile and know what any of these EQ frequencies are. Let's just go over the controls and we'll consult the manual. All else fails, consult the manual. Okay, so volume, pretty obvious, right? Bass gives you the ability to add slash, take away up to 19 dB at 130 Hertz. Maybe some of you know what that means, I don't. <laughs> Okay, so mids one allows you to add or take away up to 15, 15 dB of the frequency set by mids one frequency control. All right, so wider range of frequency, less boost slash reduction. Mid two allows you to add, take away up to 25 dB of the frequency set by the mids two frequency control knob. Treble gives you the ability to add take away up to 19 dB at seven kilohertz. I think that's what KHZ stands for. And then the mid controls allows you to adjust the sweep spots. Okay, so what does all that mean to me? I have no idea what any of those, you know, parameters sound like or mean for that matter. So I'm gonna plug straight into the front of this Friedman small box. I go distortion because pe people always say, dude, do some clean stuff, but like, I, I don't ever play clean. So <laughs> there's varying, varying degrees of distorted. So that's what we're rolling with. So let's find out what this thing does, right? So we'll turn on the pedal. Now on the pedal, I don't know if you can see this, but there's different frequency spots that you can set down here and then this basically, again, like the pedal was saying, kind of brings in and takes those out. Right, so. I kind of like that. It's already kind of mid. That's our kind of, you know, mid, or not mid, I say mid because it's the most prominent knobs on the whole pedal, the bass and treble. Pretty self-explanatory, gives you varying degrees. Now, as we go here, let's just set it over here. And let's just take this one over here too and see what starts happening when we turn these knobs. Okay, so by doing that, we got here.
that's kind of cool right there. I know it sounds like, woo, but what's cool about that is that kind of simulates that, like, on the telephone kind of sound, right? Like, I'm calling Mr. Floyd, Mr. Floyd. <laughs> Which is cool for an effect, right? So don't think of this, especially EQ pedals, don't always think of them as like, okay, this is really going to make my tone amazing, which they can. But there's also some really cool, you know, effecty kind of things you can do. I was checking out this thing right before I, okay, so I fibbed. I did turn it on right before I pressed record, but the immediate tone I dialed up before I said, okay, I'm just going to do this for real on screen. <laughs> the one tone I did, you know, conjure up was kind of like a cracked wah tone which is awesome like kind of a michael shanker thing sick so you can do that too so don't think of it just as oh man that sounds good or that sounds bad it's a creative tool eqs are awesome for that right so sounded like that uh, kind of Jack Whitish or something. Maybe put it back back. Right, again, it's like nasty sounding on purpose, right? So, if you do that. All right, so that's just one of the frequencies right that's just the mid one and you saw that there's just freaking three thousand tones on tap with just that one you know spectrum just the mid one and then the boosting or cutting of that frequency right <laughs>
coming from a complete layman's perspective on EQ, what any of those frequencies mean, right? Myself thinking there's a lot of different tone. Where, what, how would I use this pedal? Well, there's two ways, three ways. There's 20, 20 ways. <laughs> but the first way is say you're maybe a touring guy or, or something like that, or play in your church, play in your club, something. You can't have your own amp. Great pedal to be able to come in and kind of start to be able to get close to a tone you're used to because honestly with that many options on tap, that many frequencies you're able to tap into, you can kind of, you know, as long as you get the amount of gain you're looking for on, you know, the given amp that you're using, you can kind of approximate or get close to whatever it is you're normally used to. And so the ability to cut, boost, pull out those frequencies, add in stuff, you know, give yourself more mid-range, take away mid-range, all that stuff, it gives you a lot of different tonal options you can use. And as you heard, you know, I mean, the, the amp was set the same. I didn't mess with the EQ on the amp at all through the whole video. And there's so many different tones that you can get out of the thing. And another number two would be to set it up for kind of like a mid boost, right? Because it has a volume on the pedal. So if you set the pedal up louder than your initial signal, it's perfect for you know, boosting like a lead tone or something like that with where you want a little more mids to kind of punch through. Or say you want mids, but you don't want your, your tone to be quite as, you know, uh, trebly, let's say. You want a smoother, more like Clapton-y kind of tone. You could take off some of that high end and still give yourself that boost with the volume pedal. I love doing that in a, you know, I've used more of a graphic EQ when I've you know, used EQ pedals for boost in the past. But honestly, the more I mess around with them, a lot of times what we're looking for in a drive pedal can be accomplished or or what we think we're lacking in drive can be accomplished with an EQ. I've had fantastic results just messing with EQ pedals rather than distortions, especially if you're happy with the tone that's coming from your amp. So. You know, there's a million different sounds you can get. You know, let's we'll keep turning these knobs. for that kind of getting the lead tone and pushing out in front. Now, again, here's the tone. Right, I might sit and dial that in a little bit more, but you get the idea, right? So it's a perfect pedal for just kind of boosting what you want and getting the frequencies that you want when it's time to jump out in front of the band or Conversely, say that you are on a gig and the amp that you're given doesn't meld with the band, right? You know, actually listening to what works with the <laughs> other band members is, is pretty important. So that gives you the idea beyond what your normal amp is capable of. If you just can't get it out of your amp, this is a perfect thing to kind of help you actually sit back in that mix. Say you're a rhythm guitar player and you just want to kind of add that that overall soundscape, you know, you want to fit in there and not be overpowering. Something like this is great too to really refine where you want to sit 
and a mix, much like what they would do, you know, in a studio situation. They're going to use an EQ to make everything balanced, right? And this gives you the ability to either add or take away that. And so a pedal like this is very, very versatile and definitely something to think about. I want you all to think about EQ pedals could be what you're really looking for instead of that boost or that distortion. Try those out because they can be really versatile. One good EQ pedal, you'd be shocked how many different distorted tones or variances of your clean tone you can get out of it. So I would check it out. It sounds natural, very, you know, you, you can make it sound crazy. It can be an effect pedal. You know, if you're in any sort of situation where you have a lot of guitars, some of them are unruly, you want to really be able to manipulate the actual tone of your amp, check out the Equator. Wampler is an awesome company. They always have killer pedals. I love their stuff. Built to last. I've had some forever and never had an issue with their stuff. And they're awesome. If you do, I would imagine. <laughs> I'm only saying that because every time I've ever dealt with Brian, he's been freaking awesome. So there you have it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.